all news, all the time. Now back to Road Dog Trucking News with Mark Willis. Drivers, I'll tell you, this has been a really fun day for me uh, to be able to get off my cul-de-sac in the suburban Dallas-Fort Worth area and be able to come up to the beautiful uh, city of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Really a nice place. I mean, really pretty. A lot of, a lot of trees, some rolling hills, and uh, it is great to be in Fayetteville and to be at J.B. Hunt's World Headquarters. And we are at J.B. Hunt's 2018 Million Mile Celebration for the drivers. And a uh, lot of fun, a lot of fun talking about uh, what's going on with the drivers from their vantage point, you know, what makes them safe, how they view things out there on the road. And Craig Harper is with me now, the Chief Operating Officer for J.B. Hunt. Uh, Shelly Simpson, uh, who is the Chief uh, Commercial Officer at J.B. Hunt, that covers a lot of ground. We're going to get into a lot of that discussion as well. Uh, but guys, again, thank you for inviting me up. And uh, a lot of fun to hear from different uh, drivers, you know, to hear from uh, from you guys as to what's going on at the company. And Craig, it's an exciting time to be here. Oh, it's, it's been a wonderful day, you know, just uh, starting last night, actually, with the dinner with the drivers yeah. and then the events that we've had all day long. And uh, obviously, we had gorgeous weather, and yeah, the yeah. drivers got to walk down the Walk of Fame and that was have cool. all the high five celebrating. Actually, I think I'm hoarse, actually, you know, from, <laughs> from celebrating myself with them. I had but, not seen that before in person, and that yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Now, describe that to folks. Well, uh, it's it's reserved for the drivers okay. only. Okay. It's uh, the only employees that, that walk down the stairs and have all the other employees come and fill up the stairwell. Uh, we've had more than 2,000 people there that yeah, were, yeah. Uh, you heard them, yelling, screaming, yeah. and drivers <laughs> coming down and giving high fives, and some of them breaking out in a sweat, some of them uh, doing the high fives. Others uh, brought the tears with just the emotion, uh, seeing the, the love and the support that the people that came out there to give to them and, and celebrating their huge achievements of reaching the two, three, or four million safe mile. You know, the family, we mentioned it earlier, Shelly, you know, just seeing the family members out there walking down with their loved one. I mean, to me, that was like really very special uh, because it promotes a family atmosphere. And uh, that's what really drives the organization. Sure, there's the drivers, there's the other things that go on, but it's all about family. It is all about family, and we always go through. Yeah. If you're if you're going to have a career inside the organization, you're probably going to have things that happen in your life. I actually worked for Craig Harper for ten years, ah. and uh, I tried to quit on him one time, <laughs> and uh, that was right after I had my son. And it was Craig Harper that actually talked me through it and said, you know, whatever, you can be a great mom and a great worker, whatever that means. I want you to go home, focus on Peyton. And uh, you know what? I came back to work the very next day. And it was just that family feel. It doesn't just extend in what you see. It actually extends into an individual perspective. And I'm a great example of that. Hey, you know, and Craig, when you looked at the overall organization and you made the decision, you said, okay, we want people to be happy here. We want to make sure that we understand what they need. You know, if it means making or having somebody work at home two to three days a week, maybe come into the office two to three days a week. It's that flexibility, your vision, your leadership that saw that and said, man, we've got to make this open for everybody. Well, I think happy people make great employees. And also, I think you need to recognize when you have talent around you. And uh, I think one of the things I've done right through the years is been able to recognize when I've had talented people working around me and some people that uh, had a lot of skill sets that I didn't did not have, the people that could be smarter than me, uh, speak better than me, run faster than me or whatever, but just uh, not be scared to surround yourself with good people, but actually encourage good people to be around you because obviously if the team is successful, then we're all going to move up and be successful with it. So uh, I've been very fortunate here. Yeah, I've been here 25 years. Yeah, that's and, great. and what's kept me here is seeing the talent that has come through the corporation. And I know when I started, I thought we had some sharp people here. But, you know, when I hear people talk uh, bad about millennials or the youth, don't they don't do this, don't do that, <laughs> I would take exception to that because, really, uh, we have some – some of the brightest people that I've ever been around and just seeing all their talents and the opportunities that they have before them and creating more opportunities for the company. So it's a great place to be. And I think it does start, Shelly hit on it with, you know, the family, because if you're not happy at home, 
you, it's hard to be happy at work and vice versa. So um, you've, you've got to, we all work to, mm -hmm. you know, the responsibilities take care of a family, but you want to enjoy your work, feel like you have a purpose, you want to feel like you're respected. Mm -hmm. And that gets back to what we did today. Mm -hmm. You know, we're showing these, these drivers, the men and women, that they are respected and that uh, we understand that they're the reason we're here. You know, we've got 23,000 employees, 17,000 are drivers, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, we were founded by a truck driver, Mr. Hunt. Absolutely. And uh, you met um, Mrs. Hunt today, right. and she told some great stories, she didn't did. she? Yeah. So uh, I think it goes back to our roots, and we're all proud to wear the logo, know what it stands for. And yes, it does stand for family. It stands for hard work. It stands for success. It stands for dreaming, being optimistic, and because that's what Mr. Hunt was. His own definition of himself was he was a dreamer. And I, that, I, and know, that he was. I know some uh, stories that uh, you like to go out, and uh, you like to visit with each division. You like to yeah. see people. You are a people person and i know that uh, you know many of the folks in the organization on a first name basis and it is important to establish that that sense of camaraderie it makes you feel good folks know that they're in a great place you know what they need and you're there to help them grow in their job well you learn so much by going out in the field yeah. I, you know i can go out there and ride with them two or three days sure. maybe four days but it wears me out you know i tell them okay i can do the fake them out for a few days but um, you men and women have a tough job it's great to get out there and see it yeah, firsthand absolutely so you see some of the the headaches and uh, some of the issues and like i tell them uh, some of those issues i can explain why they're issues and how it's difficult for us to change those others i didn't know they were issues we need to get them corrected so it's always great to be out there with, with the people. You learn something each and every time. You know, and I think this also brings up a, another great point, Shelley, from the standpoint that, uh, you know, when you go out and you talk to folks in different divisions and you talk to people in different locations out there, you recognize there is a need, you know, to always look for new platforms, new business opportunities, you know, thing, new things that will help the, you know, the company grow, say, from the intermodal side or maybe to the uh, – uh, to the 360, and uh, that I think is so critical is to be able to get that feedback and recognize where those needs are. Where does the company grow? What are the plans for, you know, 2018 and beyond? That's is that an ongoing process from where, where you sit? Yeah, definitely for us. You know, change is just moving at such a fast pace, and technology is a a big driver of that change and what's happening. What's great for us is we started a process mm -hmm. uh, that we call Elevation here internally, where we can hear from every single employee in our organization, and if they have an idea, they submit that to us. We've seen over 16,500 hundred ideas. Oh, that's wonderful. And uh, oh. we've implemented about 650 of those so far. And they are constantly thinking about how do we grow revenue? How do we uh, change our expense line? But how also do we just make this a better organization? And so they're bringing those ideas on a regular basis. And uh, certainly those are things that we're looking forward to as Mr. Hunt was such an entrepreneur. You know, he wasn't stuck in the day. He was forward. You know, Mrs. Hunt said that, sure. that he was forward always looking. looking forward. And that's something that we really try to stay in that entrepreneurial spirit and mindset you know this I think also does illustrate the fact that uh, you know with the economy the way it is today we've uh, all sorts of businesses have got to look for an interconnection with other type of businesses in order to be successful I know that intermodal continues to grow and uh, that is one area that you know is showing uh, overall across the entire industry some great strength is that one area that uh, you might be focusing on going forward into 2019, expanding maybe that line of the business. Well, as well, certainly we are looking to expand intermodal as that is such a large part of our organization. But we're really just trying to solve for our customers' problems. Okay. And as we're okay. going to customers and talking to them about how do they need goods moved, you know, we really can move any shipment, whether it's a small package, all the way to everything that they have all across the North, North America, including into their personal home. So when we can talk to customers about that, then we start selling them what what really a good solution is, and that allows growth. So for us, we're fairly indifferent on how we grow or what growth looks like. We do have uh, aggressive plans. We're a double-digit revenue growth company. With that comes more jobs, comes more equipment, and, and just is better overall for an individual perspective because of the opportunities. You mentioned jobs, and uh, I want to talk about that for a minute as well because you think about the thousands of people that are working for J.B. Hunt right now. I mean, we are talking a great economic generator uh, for so many communities out there, but from the jobs uh, that are being built and created, the money that is being spent, 
rough estimate or an idea how many folks work for J.B. Hunt, maybe across all, all the divisions? Yeah, so Craig mentioned it. It's uh, around 23000 That's in our okay. uh, public earnings as well. But we are continuing to grow. You know, our revenue growth necessitates growth of – our most important asset, which is our people. Mm -hmm. And so that's the best part is we've grown as an organization from a $3 billion company just, what, nine years ago yeah. to just finishing up about $7 billion. So our aggressive growth plans allow us to really think about what opportunities can an employee have. So it's great to be able to talk with a driver, someone in our shop, someone here in the office to say, listen, you can have the exact same experience that we've all had because the growth in the company is going to mean new positions, new opportunities, and we'll be good for them personally. You know, the uh, driver that was on just a few minutes ago, he had been over the road for a number of years. He yeah. had the 2 million mile mark and now he's moved into the, the operational uh, safety sector of the, uh, of the company itself. And Craig, that's an opportunity right there, just an example of how easy it is to make a transition, say, from behind the wheel maybe into a managerial or, or an organizational structure. And that's what's great about the organization here at J.B. Hunt is that there are opportunities to grow or maybe try something different. Exactly. You know, Chris is, and who you're speaking of, yeah. and actually uh, I gave him a ride home last night after our barbecue, yeah. and um, he was critiquing my driving all the way home. <laughs> But uh, he, 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 said, he said I actually did pretty good. That's great. But, uh, That's great. yeah, he's a great example of someone uh, that came, and you heard his story, actually. Yeah, he was yeah. living out of his own vehicle and came to J.B. Hunt and made a career out of it, and now he's moving into safety. Now, um, you know, he got his $10,000 check, and oh. then, he, then he went into safety like the next week. But, uh, yeah, it's a great example of someone here and – uh, understanding the opportunity. And when I was speaking to some of our new employees yesterday, I said, I, I hope you understand where you are. You know, you're, you're coming into a Fortune 500 company. Absolutely. In a field that is growing, that's going to be needed, is transportation. You right. do a lot of things through the web, but you, you can't move freight, you know, through the web, the actual yep. freight itself. You right. move the transaction, but you can't move the freight. Sure. So you're in a great industry. Uh, come over here. Uh, make make a name for yourself. Whatever job you're doing, do it the best you can. Get a good reputation. Be looking around at other opportunities. Um, so if you can't taste the champagne if you're not at the party, okay, you, you're at the party and, and make it count. And there's all sorts of opportunities here, and we're going to continue to grow and, and find more opportunities. You know, I was watching you on stage when Mrs. Hunt came up on the stage and you introduced her, and uh, you think the world of her. She's a great great lady yeah you Mr. talk with her oh, what, just about oh, every day oh no not that often but i, okay. I do at least have a, a line to her where okay. we communicate right. and um yeah i was uh showing her just the, the other day got a great picture of of her my daughter uh back when my daughter was six years old who's now 28 years old okay but i mean so we go back quite a ways but uh you know, she's a phenomenal woman, and uh, she's got all the great stories. You heard some of them Absolutely. today. Absolutely. They're wonderful. Uh, and like I told the group, you know, earlier was that on the J.B. Hunt that there's people that think that Jay could have signed, you know, could have been for John L., you know, and that's Miss Hunt's name, obviously, is John L. Hunt. But it's just they were so tight together and made such a great team because he was the dreamer. Yeah. You know, he, he yeah. never saw a bad deal. He was going to be optimistic. He was going to make it work. And sure. Miss Hunt was the one being sure that the money was there <laughs> on time and collecting it. So great, great team. You know, what was uh, also very notable and a lot of fun to hear when Mrs. Hunt was talking, she emphasized family. Mm -hmm. She emphasized the driver. And, you know, you think about that, it's like, man, just that's where the root of the organization is, is with the driver, with the family. And the company's not lost sight of that. Well, Mark, she, she lived it. You yeah, know, she did. She, yeah, she, she did. She married a driver, you yep. know, again, you know, Mr. Hunt uh, is a veteran, but he dropped out of school when he was in seventh grade. And he was driving a truck, and they went through some extremely tough times. And actually, even after they started the company, there was a time when they were had decided to file bankruptcy on a Friday, but sure. got through the weekend, came back and worked through it on Monday. And now you can see the corporation that they built. But she's uh, taught all of us that you know, family is important to her and her family, and it should be to us. And I think that carries on with the logo. All right. I've got a break for a few minutes, guys. Got to do traffic and weather. Uh, so hold on for a few minutes. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in to the conversation, if, you, if you've got a question for Craig Harper, he's the chief operating officer 
for J.B. Hunt and also Shelley Simpson is with me as well. And uh, we are broadcasting live, ladies and gentlemen, from the uh, J.B. Hunt 2018 uh, this is the uh, Driver Hall of Fame, if you will. I mean, we're talking about the drivers being honored here for their 2 million, 3 million mile uh, awards. And if you want to jump in and chat with Shelly or with Craig, you know the phone number to do that. It's 888-876-2336. I do want to get into a little bit about the uh, JB Hunt 360. We'll get into that conversation a little bit more when we come back out of the break. It's now 33 minutes after. Let me update you as to what's going on with the news. Let's do that now on Sirius XM. All news, all the time. Now back to Road Dog Trucking News with Mark Willis. All right, drivers. Hey, just a few minutes left, and I'm going to get ready to wrap this up at the top of the hour. And, man, very, very much appreciate being invited up to the 2018, you know, Special Drivers Award Recognition Program. The uh, folks at J.B. Hunt are taking the time out today, ladies and gentlemen, to honor some very, very good accomplishments. I mean, wonderful accomplishments for the Million Mile 2018 Driver Celebration. We're talking about 2 million, 3 million accident-free miles and more uh, that's out there. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, folks, that uh, the – People at J.B. Hunt have done a great job. I mean, they've had drivers in in a celebratory walk down uh, some staircases in the main hallways of the offices, and I've never seen that before in person. And, man, it was exciting, to say the very least, to see family members and to see the drivers coming down and, you know, to recognize them for their accomplishments of what they've done. And, and Shelley, you know, you think about this from the standpoint, from the driver's perspective, being out there, Day in and day out. I mean, in all kinds of weather, different kinds of road construction and things like that. I mean, to be able to achieve all of those goals, 2 million, 3 million accident free miles, really speaks volumes about, you know, the company and the drivers themselves, right? Well, just amazing, that accomplishment. I mean, we have the best of the best here, you know, last night and today. And we get the, we get the pleasure of getting to, to celebrate with them, to really honor the work and the effort and just the focus that it takes, the level of focus they have to, we can go through training, but that buy-in and focus that they have to be able to accomplish that is just something very special. You guys also gave away some beautiful jackets uh, as well. And uh, I saw some of those and uh, man, they are, they are keepers to say the very least. And uh, these are all for, you know, for the drivers where they can wear the fact that uh, they've been able to hit those 2 million, 3 million accident free miles out there. And again, it's all about the driver and the people that what is what uh, really makes all this go, doesn't it? Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, I said this earlier, when you can connect our office employees right here, and we have a, a massive campus here in Lowell, Arkansas, where you can connect people in our IT department, in HR, yep. in payroll, yep. to what that really means. Like that phone call that they take helping resolve something happening yeah. on a check for a, a driver, and then they get to see them come. It's just that everything really comes to life at that very moment. You are also uh, very much involved in a lot of business applications in the organization. Uh, J.B. Hunt 360 It is the company's next generation supply chain solution and uh, also its implementation within the enterprise sales as well. You've got a big job ahead. What is 360? Well, 360 is really a way to create visibility to all shipments in North America, to all capacity in North America, and to create the right shipment for the right truck at the right time. And so you think about um, all three and a half million drivers out there being able to have access to shipments that are right there around them, that technology that we can bring to them, mm -hmm. making selection to say, you know what, this is the load I want and this is the price that I want, which is something very transformational in the industry. I, I don't know that we've done that or seen that before here in transportation. We get to experience that personally uh, as consumers, but in transportation, it's really new to come and say, listen, at a driver level, why don't you make a choice? Why don't you yeah. tell us where you want to go and at what price, and then we can make that connection for them. Can you also take that a step further and uh, maybe can driver maybe search by city, by state? Oh, oh my goodness, and, yes. And maybe say uh, the number of stops or maybe the equipment type. They, they pretty much can do any of that. Okay. So they can okay. set up their preferences. But one of the things we're doing, Mark, that I think is really unique is you hear a lot about – AI, artificial intelligence, and yeah, machine learning. Sure. And if, if you're on your favorite dot-com site sure. and you see uh, maybe it, it reminds you of these shoes that you wanted 
and you didn't buy. Right. That exact same thing is happening inside our 360 platform. So as drivers use the platform more and more, we start to learn the preferences of the drivers. So we can start then recommending straight to a driver what they want to see. So they don't have to come and do a lot of searching in the system. We can recommend to them a trip as a suggestion, multiple trips that say this would be a good route for you. Can they also do this through maybe a 360 app? Oh, definitely. So they, they can go straight to the app. Um, they also can do from their desktop, either version. We've got about a third of our users right there on their mobile app, making offers, booking shipments immediately, really doing their work from the app. And then the rest of those would be right there in, in their office. Now, what about as far as getting load notifications? Would else, that also be another component as yeah, well? Yeah, alerts. I mean, we're really trying to do three things for the driving community. Okay. We want to create a better experience. We want to save them money. And we want to give them more time to drive. So if we can help eliminate one of the four hours, Mark, that is wasted in the U.S. on yeah. three and a half million drivers sure. through technology, that would give drivers a 12% pay increase and 12% more capacity on the road. So just making more efficient use. I don't know a lot of people that like to be stuck in traffic, right. if you will, right. uh, as we are. If you think about the industry wasting four of 11 hours every single day, we have a unique opportunity to help change that for America and for all three and a half million drivers that are out there. Now, say somebody's got to change an appointment time. Is that... Uh is that some uh, another feature that's available out there? Can they change? They times? can directly connect back into us. They can give us any comments. Um, they really don't have to. You know, I always say we want to make it to where whatever information they're interested in is at their fingertips. And if they want to call us, it's to to talk, to check in, to to see what's happening, and more relational, so that they can have that information right there at their fingertips. What about as far as like performing check calls? Any phone call required for that? Uh, no phone calls for requiring check calls. They can do that right on their mobile device. Okay. You know, it's also, I think, very interesting to note as well that you're bringing the technology out to the driver. And, and you know, and again, you think back to the, some of the traditional days where maybe a driver had to call up and uh, get to a pay phone and things like that. We've really come quite a way uh, from maybe years ago to the speed and the efficiency of what's out there. Now, this helps in the operational process and in the bottom line as well. Oh, definitely, Mark. And, and, you know, last April, we really committed as an organization $500 million okay. in technology spend over the next five years. About half of that is really devoted to innovation and disruption. So how do we think about being more innovative for drivers? How do we make... Um, operational efficiency so that if they're sitting and it's night, it, it's yeah. a nighttime yeah. and they want to know something that we've got that information in our system. How do we just display that externally so they have access to it immediately? Now, does this also allow drivers the opportunity to maybe see a shipper based on favorable, unfavorable ratings? Oh, definite. That's one of the best parts. Okay, talk about is that. that. Well, in this environment where, uh, you know, capacity is such at a crunch, it's important to know what locations that you're picking up at. So they have the ability to rate their location. They'll have uh, amenities. We're actually rolling that out where they'll see the amenities, whether that's, uh, you know, do they have a break room? Is is there overnight parking available? Features such as that. But they'll also get to see what's the rating uh, of, of the last, you know, 55 ratings at what star rating did they receive and what comments could be available as no, well. That's, that's outstanding. And that kind of feedback is so critical because that helps eliminate, uh, you know, inefficiencies and maybe a driver's way that they do business out there. Once they've got those, fo those point of references, man, they can make even better decisions, can't they? Plus, it helps them in their selection of a load. Yeah. So if you, yeah. if you think about it, if there is a location that really doesn't good, do a good job of uh, helping a driver get in and out, they're going to know that on the front end. There's no guessing game behind, you know, I wonder how this facility is going to treat me. This also one of the other interesting components of that as well is that, you know, when you look at tracking some of the, some of the payments that are out there as, uh, as folks need to, you know, figure out what they're going to do with the money. Do you guys do that as far as tracking the payments and, uh, you know, making the corresponding documents simple. So what is so great about our platform is if they will upload their documents, they actually can receive a payment within 48 hours. And okay. that's all for free. So the majority of carriers, if they want their payment within 48 hours, they're paying a fee for that to someone. For us, if you interact in our platform, that's going to be a 48-hour payment and all at no charge. All right. I got a break for a few minutes. So I want to get a website out there where drivers can maybe get some more information about the, uh, about the 360 process, the 
uh, jbhunt.com, social media, Facebook, phone numbers. Uh, can they dial the old-fashioned way? They can just dial the old-fashioned way. They can also go to jbhunt.com and find any information about 360, about a job, about really pretty much anything, and we'll have a contact information there as well. All right. If you've got a question, drivers, for Shelly Simpson, jump in. We're talking a lot about the technology platforms that are out there. We're talking about what's going on with 360 and how the technology is really helping to improve the efficiency of trucking overall. It's really a great opportunity for you to maximize your revenue, to maximize your miles out there. Uh, so, Shelly, hold on, and Craig, hold on as well. i got to do some traffic and weather, and uh, drivers, again, if you want to jump in and chat with Shelly and Craig, they're only on for a few more minutes, and then they're going to go on to the rest of their day. They've got a lot more activity to go uh, for today because they are here, of course, at the uh, J.B. Hunt Billion Mile 2018 Driver Celebration. It's all about the driver for today. 50 minutes after, let me update you as to what's going on with the weather. Let's do that this minute. Sirius XM. All news, all the time. Now back to Road Dog Trucking News with Mark Willis. All right, drivers, here we flown through this. Uh, man, the last two hours have zipped on by. Uh, had a lot of fun being out here at the J.B. Hunt Million Mile 2018 driver celebration, folks, and uh, it was a blast, to say the very least. And it was all designed to honor the drivers. And uh, the company was celebrating 77 drivers in all, two, three, and four million mile drivers from across the United States, uh, from intermodal, truckload, and dedicated. Uh, they've all been welcomed here at J.B. Hunt's corporate office in Lowell. And a very interesting note, ladies and gentlemen, the company's paid out nearly $1 million in bonuses uh, to these drivers. And Craig Harper, chief operating officer for... J.B. Hunt, man, what a fun day. Very, very nice to be out here. Thank you. Oh, it's been a fantastic day. It's always great to see the drivers. You know, it's amazing how fast some years go by because there were several folks I hadn't seen for three years, five years, or whatever else. But it's great to see them come in here and uh, pay out nearly a million dollars in bonuses to them. And, you know, now we've paid out close to $27 million since we started the program to more than 3,400 drivers. So, uh, great opportunities in driving. Uh, a lot of good driving jobs out there. You find yourself a good driving job, but I'll tell you here, you can find a great driving job, and that's uh, what we truly believe at J.B. Hunt, and we're going to do everything we can to take care of our drivers and take care of all our employees because we know that's how you continue to grow and prosper as a company. You know, the economy is doing very well in some yes. areas. Uh, uh, are you optimistic going forward? What's your uh, overall view? Uh, I'm very optimistic, and, you know, I'd love to get Shelly's comments on this because she's the one out there as chief commercial officer meeting with the customers all the time. But, yeah, I mean, freight, is, is demand is strong. This is a great time to be a driver. This is a time when you need to get out there and run all the miles that you can legally and safely run. And uh, a lot of pressure on getting more capacity, a lot of pressure on rates, and uh, so it's, that's a great time to be in there as a driver. And what do you think, Sean? Well, what a great add-on to that is really the phrase shipper of choice has become so yeah, in vogue. Yeah, Our customers yeah. care deeply about their facilities, how their drivers are getting treated overall. I see more customers, the most I've seen in my 20-plus year career, really care about what's happening with drivers. They realize the crunch that's happening, and they definitely want to be a shipper of choice. So we're starting to get real action to occur uh, with shippers, where in the past we might talk to them about a specific facility to Today, we can really start to drive that change. And so I feel like as an industry, we're really starting to make move towards creating better experiences overall. You know, and creating those better experiences means finding new business opportunities like, like 360, for example, or looking to other areas to grow. And that's got to be such a critical mission, right? Always looking for new ways to bring more revenue in to make it better for the driver. Well, always making uh, a better way is going to help us over the long term yeah. grow inside yep. the company. Yep. You know, when we do great work for our customers, our com customers will demand us to grow more. And for that, that allows a driver to grow more as well. So the more that we can grow, the more choices that we get, the more shipments we get to look at right. and haul and, and right. price. And so growth is, is really great for an organization, but it's really great for an employee. Before I let you go, last mile has been... Uh, Talked about uh, in the industry quite a bit uh, that, you know, there's a lot of opportunities there. Do you guys look at Last Mile? Is that 
on the drawing board. Please. Definitely for us, that's one of our, our big growth vehicles. We've identified about a $12 billion market okay. and really what we would call big and bulky uh, okay, inside sure. that market. And, and we really have a good mission to move that business into uh, you know a billion-dollar platform overall and really just our customers asking us to do more and more. But definitely as consumers, we're starting to demand more, come personally to our home. Our customers are asking us to get in that business and we're already, uh, you know, in a good place there, but we're also growing fairly significantly inside that space. Well, I want to wish you guys the best going forward. And man, thank you for letting me come out and be part of the 2018 driver celebration. It's great to see everybody and uh, to experience, you know, the great things like uh, coming down the stairs and the congratulatory applause and the high five. And, you know, great to speak with Mrs. Hunt directly. Yeah. That was a real treat uh, for me, no doubt a legend in the trucking industry. And she, sh she shared some great stories about, you know, how the company has grown over the years. And, uh, man, she, she makes the drivers her main focus. Uh, Mrs. Hunt really thinks about the drivers and, you know, what can uh, the company do overall to, to help the drivers going forward out there. Guys, thank you. I'm just about out of time. I do want to get uh, the website out there again, social media, phone numbers. How can drivers reach you? Uh, you can go to jbhunt.com. It's an easy way to get to us. And you can do at jbhuntdrivers, drivejbhunt.com. Okay. Uh, also, the phone number is 1-800-2-JB-HUNT. So 1-800-2-JB-HUNT. And we'd love to hear from you. And, again, thank you all, drivers, for what you do for all of us each and every day. Continue to be safe out there and maintain that good following distance. And, drivers, on that note, I'm going to wrap it up and say thank you to Charles in D.C. I'm going to be back in my home studio.